else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will not close the public participation. <laughs> You usually say that twice before you uh, cut it off. You said it once and I started to get up. So. My name is Electa Rickett. I live at 1217 Hickory Drive. Uh, I've seen the sign on Eager Road. I come up, in, up and down Eager Road quite a bit. Get into town, the post office and so forth. Uh, and uh, when I saw that this was supposed to be planned, it was going to be changed to a planned development, uh, I got concerned. I've seen so many spot zonings in Valdosta in the years I've lived here that have compromised the integrity of many, many residential communities. Uh, it's very disappointing to me every time I see another one done. Um, you know, some of what the people who have spoken for this, um, I, I helped start the Triple Crown Hometown program with the Chamber. I worked very hard with that for several years uh, to attract retirees here. Uh, and, uh, and I'm an older person, I'm not, uh, well, I'm not working, uh, my husband's still working full time, but um, <clears throat> at some point we not, may not be working and we may want you know, a smaller place. I don't know, we have a lot of land to keep up. But when you, when you go in the middle of a residential community where it's primarily single family residential homes and all the other examples that were given that have been done in Valdosta that are, some of them are very nice planned developments, but they have a street that was already there that they were built off of. You don't have to build a street on the side of the property to get to the, the, the dwellings, okay? To me, that's a huge difference in this right here, okay? Having to bring the street in off the bigger road just to access all the living spaces in this planned development. Uh, <clears throat> because as soon as I saw that and read what they were planning, I started feeling sorry for the people who live right around this lot. It's a very, very deep lot, like some places in Valdosta have. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, I think that the idea of what they're doing is not bad, but I think looking at the drawing that's right here, and there are uh, at least eight buildings on that site. That's not even a quarter of an acre per building. Uh, it seems to me like they're cramming an awful lot of buildings into that site compared to the people around them and the greenery, the, the amount of property that is around. Is this still working? Okay, the amount of property that is around most of the other houses. Uh, because you look at it, it's Jaden Place, uh, there are four pieces of property on the, whatever side that is, western side of Jaden Place, that parallel this property. They put four houses off of Jaden Place in the same amount of property that this, this developer wants to put eight. Uh, I'm against it because I think it is too many houses in too small a lot, and it doesn't fit into this residential neighborhood. Thank you. Is there, are there any other questions? Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Well, I live off of Jerry Jones. It's very difficult to get out there also. But when you talk about putting college students in here, and I don't know whether the college students could, I don't know if they're going to sell or rent these places. But uh, the city of Valdosta, and I know there are a few councilmen I've seen in the back if they're still here tonight, they don't seem to be interested in enforcing the zoning about three unrelated people per house. Because in my neighborhood, there are six college students who move into a three bedroom, a one or two bath home, and they live there all, all semester, fall through spring, and then they move out pick up trucks full of mattresses come springtime, okay? And I would have to call daily, call the police department and complain uh, about the, the unrelated people living in one single family home. Uh, that's getting to be a real problem in my neighborhood and the city doesn't seem to be interested in enforcing the codes. They claim it's unconstitutional to enforce a code like that. They can force me to mow my grass, but they can't force, <laughs> they can't limit how many unrelated people can live in a house I don't quite understand that legally. I think we need some legal help here. Sorry. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.